So super reforms are up to date. Does the government have your support? Oh, the government won't show us what the amendments are. You know, I mean, there's, there's a couple of crossbenchers out there that have done amendments, and if these amendments are so great, then I just want to see the amendments. I can't vote on something that I don't... that I cannot see. So I'm still waiting for the government that's had, uh, you know, been sitting there with these amendments supposedly for the last 24 hours. Well, if they're that great mm. and they're really, really cool, then show me what the amendments are so I can give them my decision. Either way, these super reforms um, will be going through. I doubt very much whether Labor has some amendments, I believe. I doubt very much whether they've got the numbers to... Um, uh, to get them through. So I think you'll see, right. apart from the agreement that the uh, Coalition has done um, with the crossbench, they'll be the only uh, amendments that get through. So I would like to see them. Um, but uh, I think you'll see those super reforms. They're pretty much done and dusted. Yeah. They're going through. Well, I mean, Josh Rydenberg, he's already made... He's already taken out that best financial interest test. And last time we spoke, you, you had yep. some issues with that. So that was taken out. I mean, we're talking about $17 billion worth of savings to customers here. It, I mean, w why wouldn't you support that? Yeah, no, I'm pretty... You know, we, we sort of haven't had too much of an issue along the way with them. Um, I think there was a couple of things. We, we actually... We have a pretty good relationship, my office does, with Jane Hume. Um, so we've been, been quite lucky. But I would like to see those amendments. So if, if they're OK and they're going to okay. make the bill better, then please show them the amendments. Are you happy to see those minimum wa the minimum wage rise, Jackie? Um, yes, I certainly am. That's why we have an independent umpire. Um, I think it's a great thing. I think uh, I believe that they're going to hold um, some of those wage rises up off until September because there has been businesses out mm. there be doing it tough because of COVID. And I think that's a great adjustment. I think that's wonderful. Um, but you know, we, I, I like having the independent umpire here because otherwise you'd have the Labor Party um, basically giving them extra fifty bucks a day, and then you'd have the Liberals giving them peanuts. So. You know, so I think I think for us having that independent umpires work quite well most of the time in fair work. So um, I, they're due for an increase. There's no doubt about that. It isn't a lot of money really when you look at it in today's yeah, it's world. It's only but twenty bucks a week. Sure it's better than nothing. Yeah, well, it's better than nothing, I mm. suppose. You can get yourself an extra cup of coffee or take your kids at least send one of them to the pitches, mate. Sure. Okay. Uh, now the prime minister has wrapped up his trip. Uh, he's on his way back um, soon. He did tell Andrew Clennell overnight, Senator, that he's working hard to avoid a Cold War and Boris Johnson said something similar, um, as well as others too, with China. But grey, grey war tactics, as you know, are already underway. Do, do you believe that we're heading for one, even though that might well sound like inflammatory language? Well, we... I don't know because you know here's Rex Patrick and I have been trying to trying to get an inquiry on into China for the last six months. I think we've had six goes at a motion. Uh, I can see that uh, Labor's starting to back it off. They only had two or three of their members present on that vote against it last night. Uh, but the Liberals are holding firm. I know that, um, while well, I have my boots on and I'm out on the ground a lot, there was a lot of people out there really concerned with our relationship and our trade with what's going on with China. They're asking me, why can't we have an inquiry? Why are we leave, leaving um, these sort of things o over to people like the World Trade Organisation and the big men in white suits while we're not doing this sort of stuff in our country and getting to the bottom of what's going on what is the government hiding? Uh, so I don't really think they have a choice. Uh, you know, these things have got to come out in the open and we need to discuss them. And right now, I'm like many other people, I just think you've got fear. It's happening, it's going on. Turn around and face it because we need to deal with it. And I say that to the government today. Because I tell you what, it's not getting any better. It just keeps snowballing. So let's get an inquiry done. Let's have the courage to show China that we have no fear of them and get on with it. But we're showing that we have no fear of them, aren't we? Well, I don't think so. What, 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 exa what exactly are, are we doing? What, what, what are we doing? We have a bit of a talk fest. Or you, you know, there's a little bit... Someone will have a bit of a go at them and that's it. Mm. Um, let's get serious here. Let, yeah, let's the, have this inquiry. But let's the government ha has the support of, of those G7 nations and, you know, all rallying against economic coercion. So, so we do have a lot of support. Uh, yeah, sure, we have the support, but I want to know if we've got so much support, why aren't we having an inquiry and letting the Australian people become involved in here and seeing what comes out of these inquiries? Uh, you know, there's 26 million people here that would like to know what exactly what is going on instead of seeing bits and pieces and someone popping out once or twice and saying, well, we've got a problem with them. Mm. Senator well, Jackie let's Lamy. see what sort of problems we have with them. Well, good to chat as always. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much.